Welcome back. You're listening to the Flow Friday Sports Show here on Flow FM, our last one in June. And Chris Greats joins me now to talk all about Wimmera football, the Wimmera Mallee News sports journalist. Great to be back with you, Chris. How are you getting on? Yeah, no, nah, it's good to be back for another week. It's been a very busy week uh, with sport all across the Wimmera, so I've been okay. Just let off flat out as always. How about you? Much the same, Chris. Uh, as much as things change, they stay the same. And uh, they're staying the same for Dim Buller as far as their relatively underwhelming or let's even say fairly miserable season is going in 2024. They got done at home to Minute Matora on this occasion. And I reckon that's just about good night, isn't it, Chris? It's good night. They're not making finals. Uh, they've got they got a big name recruits in. They haven't they're fired, but as a team, they just haven't been winning games. Um, you just look at their list at the start of the year. They they at the start of the year on paper they were meant to be up there fighting for it, and they're far from it. And they're not going to be fighting for it. So it's going to be interesting last half of the season for Dimbul, or I mean on the weekend they were up at three quarter time in the game, and then just minute Matoa just kicked. Eight goals in that last quarter to four to run over them and win by a nice, um, yeah, nice 18 points. So and that's the worst thing that could have happened because Minya Matoa are in that fifth position and now Dimbula are a good two games away from that fifth spot. So it's over for them. Huge win for Neil at home to the Horsham Sainers, 107-63, to a very grandiose victory. Yeah, as we were saying last week, uh, I mean, on paper the Horsham Saints look like they would win that, but they always struggle at Neil, and that was no different on the weekend. I mean, they got blown out in the first quarter. Neil kicked five goals, 11-2-1, to but Neil should have been up by 10 goals a quarter time. Horsham came out flat. They showed nothing. Uh, it was game over a quarter time. They they did try and fight back, but Neil were in control all game. Uh, Dylan Ridden for them kicked four goals. And yeah, for the Saints, uh, Ben Knott was not a happy man after the match. Uh, their senior players just, yeah, did not stand up and it's a bit hard for the young ones to step into the role if the senior players aren't showing anything. So they'll be, they'll be killed at the contest and they've worked on that this week at training. So they really will. I think they'll be coming out firing this week. Well, well, we've got people very interested in the work you do, uh, making phone calls late on a Friday night. Chris, sounds like people are... Uh, trying to get some sort of understanding of how to shadow you and uh, break all the big stories. Good to hear in the background there. Someone's taking care of it. Um, What about the Southern Mallee Thunder? A decent win for them, getting back into the winner's circle against the Horsham Dees on the road. Oh, yeah. This this was a terrific match. Uh, The 15-minute mark of the last quarter, Jordan Modden kicked a goal for the Demons to bring the margin back to one point. So the Demons were in a good spot there to upset the latter leaders, but a bit of lack of experience in running out the game was the thing that did them in the end uh, because as soon as they got within one point, then we had Rupert Sanks to kick a goal straight away within the first 20 seconds of the ball up. And then Bradley Lowe and Thomas Clark finished things off. Um, Horsham did have a few couple shots on goal after that. But yeah, nah, it was a great performance from Horsham. Um, and the, yeah, the Thunder, well, they got out of jail because of their more experienced uh, players. But yeah, the Demons, they're not going to be easy beats in the second half of the year. And I'd hate to play them in finals. They'll be making finals and they'll be challenging teams. That's for sure. They just may not just have that experience to get over top late in games. All right. Well, a few movers and shakers. Looking at uh, fourth place through to sixth place or even seventh place, Chris, who do you like most in terms of sort of outside forces in this league that can lay a glove on the bigger guys? Um, Is it more sort of nil are you leaning towards or Horsham Saints at their best? Who do you like? Um, it's a it's a tough one. Um, I Minyat Matoa are sitting fifth, uh, a game clear of Neil and Horsham, and obviously the Horsham Demons are full of the same on Minyat. But Minyat um, have yeah they've got 
five players out and they're slowly getting their players back. If they get their players out, the final five will be what it is now. So a minute, Matara, I, I'm expecting, I'll call it now, um, Neil and Horsh in there, they'll challenge. But I'm expecting Minyip to hold that fifth spot and I, the top five I don't think will change. There we have it. All right, let's look at round 10, starting with Neil, their game against Minyip Matoa, who you just spoke about. Do you expect the visitors to make a contest of this one tomorrow? Yeah. Um, as we look at the ladder, yeah, this is an eight-point game for both teams. I think Minyat Matoa will come out there. They'll come out firing, and they're looking good uh, with their win over Dimbula. Um, it's going to be a close game either way, but I'm going to stick my neck out and tip Minyat by uh, two goals. And if they do win, that does put Neil two games out of the five, and that sort of solidifies Minyat's um, spot in the five heading into the rest of the season. So I think Minyip will just get up in a close game. It'd be a tough ask for Horsham Saints to do any damage away to Stall. Yeah, Stall have their um, Ruckman back, um, Josh Folks, and their full strength, I believe. I think they might be missing Mitchell Taylor. Uh, but yeah, the Saints, it's a must-win game. They've got they're they're going to be up against it. I can't see them beating Stall, even if they come out firing. Stall should be too good across the park, so I think Stall will be winning the game by about five goals. Okay, Demons Ararat. Who do we like there? Yeah, this is this is a nice contest. As you remember, back in round uh, one, they were up there trailing by two points. So I think it was at three quarter time. They were in the game, and then Ararat just ran over the top of them at the Horsham City Oval on a smaller ground and based on what the Horsham Demons did last week this is going to be a close contest um, the smart man will say Ararat but I'm going to tip an upset here um, I'm going to say Demons at home they'll be in the game in the last quarter and they'll find a way to get over the top this time around so I'll say the Demons by less than a goal I assume you're not tipping any upsets at Anzac Park at all between the Warwick Eagles and the Southern Mallee Thunder could we get quite the blow out there? Yeah, the Eagles have been improving over recent weeks. Uh, they're definitely better than what they were against uh, round one where the Thunder beat them by that 129-point margin. Um, it's going to be a big margin. And I don't think it'll get to 129 points. I think the margin's going to be about 80 points this time around. The uh, Eagles won't be in the match. Fired and they improve and just build for the matches they can win. That's the main thing for them. Dimbula with the bye. That's where we'll leave it. Before we do let you go, Chris, just remind our listeners where they can obtain some news or the coverage that you offer the Wimmera Mallee news as far as sport headlines go? Yeah, so Wimmera Mallee Sport is our new sports paper released on April 7. It's released every Tuesday and it's all around the region at newspapers, petrol stations, wherever you get your newspapers, you'll find it there. And if you're not in the region or don't want to read the paper version, you can go to wmsport.com.au sign up online and you'll be able to read the digital subscriptions for all five of our papers so the Wimmera Mallee Sport the Rainbow Jujur Parrot Argus Dimbul the Banner Horsham Times and Warwick Herald but the sport paper that's got 20 pages of full on sport each week including a lot of different sports so yeah grab it have a look um, and you'll get real detailed reviews um, from all the footy action and other sports Chris great enjoy your weekend and enjoy the footy Thanks, Ellis. You too.